It's certainly natural for you to want your baby to be close to you at all times, including when you and your baby are sleeping. But the uh, reality is thousands of babies unexpectedly die, infants, every year. Um, there's research that shows 80 to 90 percent of those deaths related to unsafe sleep practices. So you want to be very, very careful. And here to talk about that uh, is Susan Henry, who is uh, from Dayton Children's Medical Center. We're talking about infant sleep safety. Now, you just think that you just want to put the baby down. And when babies are crying and you nurse, and a lot of people sleep with them right next to them, which is very, very dangerous. Um, there's been different issues about pl placing them on their tummies or placing them on their backs. And just what do you do with, with the infant in terms of sleeping? Right, it becomes very confusing. Mm -hmm. And like you said, our instinct is to keep them close mm -hmm. to us. But what we actually find is that is a dangerous situation. And at Dayton Children's, we're especially committed to getting the word out about safe sleep because we unfortunately had nine deaths last year at our um, hospital that could have been prevented, we feel like, by safe sleep. So the best thing to do is we call them the ABCs, put your baby to sleep alone on their back and in their own crib. So they should never sleep with anybody else, either an adult, a child, another baby, or a pet. So they should always go to sleep on their own. Mm -hmm. On their back, as you mentioned, is much safer than on their belly. Mm -hmm. On their belly, they can rebreathe the air that they have breathed out, oh, and that can yes. be dangerous. And then in their own crib, especially a crib with a nice firm mattress, a fitted sheet, and then nothing else in the crib. No pillows. Get the stuff out, right? That's exactly right. No yeah. toys, no pillows, yeah. no extra blankets. Any of those things can cause a baby to get entangled in mm -hmm. them and can unfortunately cause suffocation. Yeah, and we, ha we have to explain that to people because this, this sounds as though you, everybody wants to decorate the nursery and everybody wants the bed to be cute and, and the crib and that's fine but when the baby is ready to sleep take the things out because if you just want to demonstrate when they roll over and the face goes into a teddy bear and that's it because they don't know how to roll back most of the time they don't know they're because and then when they're sleeping they really don't know. That's exactly right. And it's especially important in babies who are four months and younger because they don't have good head control, they don't have very mm -hmm. strong necks, and unfortunately when they're asleep, sometimes they don't move their head to a protected position. And you know, there's been some research um, many years ago that smoking mothers uh, can sometimes that can sometimes lead to sudden infant death syndrome. That's exactly right, and the reason isn't exactly clear, but it does increase the risk of babies dying during their sleep. So getting the smoke out of the home and um, off of uh, even smoke on clothing can sometimes cause a baby to die. All right, we thank you sleep. so much for your information. Thank you, Susan Henry. We we really appreciate.